My name is Danielle Mankin, and I'm doing a review of the paper From Binswanger's Disease to Leukoariosis, What We Have Learned About Subcortical Vascular Dementia by David Libon, Cap Catherine Price, Kelly davis Garrett, and Tanya Giovanetti. Otto Binswanger, pictured on the right, was the first to discover in 1894 that dementia could be caused by white matter atrophy. This disease was later named Binswanger's disease. This type of dementia, although specified by Benzwinger, was clumped into the broad category of senile dementia until 1974 when the term multi dementia, or MID, was coined. The vessels that supply subcortical white matter are described as having their own zone and are susceptible to injury. Chronic hypertension is known to cause white matter atrophy because it changes the tension of the smooth wall vessels and causes changes in the vessel diameter. The arterioles may even become permeable, resulting in compromise of the blood-brain barrier and serum leakage that could cause potential edema, demyelination, and gliosis. Subcortical white matter atrophy is pictured in this MRI. There is a difference between cortical and subcortical dementia. Cortical dementia is atrophy of the cortex, which affects higher functions, such as memory, language, semantic knowledge, whereas subcortical dementia affects mental manipulation, forgetfulness, and pers personality and emotional changes. More and more studies have been linking subcortical dementia with white matter changes. White matter atrophy has shown correlations with impairment in executive functions, but have normal episodic and declarative memory. Executive functions are brain processes that are responsible for planning, cognitive flexibility, abstract thinking, rule acquisition, initiation of appropriate actions, and inhi inhibition of inappropriate actions, and selecting relevant sensory information. Pictured is the six-element test used to test executive function using matching memory and math skills in a timed setting. Although MRA is the best way to detect white matter atrophy, it is diff difficult to compute the relationship white matter alterations have with neuropsychological functions, because white matter atrophy does not necessarily mean dementia. Much of today's research is trying to find scaling methods to determine an accurate way to measure whether the atrophy will result in dementia. Binswanger's disease is its own separate disease which results from the combination of white matter atrophy and subcortical dementia. Diagnosis, diagnosis is still difficult to this day, yet a skilled team of neurologists and psychiatrists, along with different advanced scaling methods, can accurately diagnose. Benzwanger's disease is caused by subcortical dementia, which results in loss of executive functions, such as planning and rule acquisition.